Robots on the move for match number 35. Nick L in red sweeping up those power cells off the playing field floor. Tigor 1 doing the same for the blue. First on the board is the Red Alliance, a 50 point lead before blue scores a single power cell. But those three blue robots in blue are also working hard to make up the difference. The blue alliance did miss a few of their launches that resulted in a lot of power cells bouncing off the backboard back onto the playing field floor early on in this match. It is still a slight Red Alliance lead, but Blue has got plenty of time and plenty of potential. Josh has a full hopper for the Blue Alliance. They go up two for two, now five for five, and adding seven in one go for the Blue Alliance. In our simulation of infinite recharge, there is no cap on the number of power cells that a single robot can possess. We're used to seeing five, but in, this ma in our simulation matches, you can carry as many as your robot is able to. So we're seeing at least five, sometimes six or seven power cells all going up at once for these alliances. Blue is still fighting hard to, to make up the gap that they were behind after the end of the autonomous period. They trail, but only by 20 points. Tigor 1 is now lined up all on their own, and they will add several power cells to that Blue Alliance score. Red, though, is fighting back. IDKY lined up very gently in front of the Red Alliance power port. They shift back and forth momentarily, strafing, looking for a fine-tuned launch, and they do land all of the power cells that were in their hopper and Alliance partner moving in alongside them to do the same with under one minute remaining in the match. Red Alliance leads 211 to 188. Both alliances still shy of the 90 point threshold for a ranking point for energizing the shield generator. Blue is getting closer and closer to taking this match back. Silverhawk and Josh bringing it to 243. They now lead and their final alliance partner needs to make their way back to that initiation line to pick up a few more points because Red now has established that lead once again here in this match. Red has also met the threshold for a ranking point. 95 power cells have been scored by Red. Blue, though, also has broken that 90 power cell threshold. 10 seconds remaining. It still looks like this might go home with the Red Alliance, but Blue is definitely going to beat them to the rendezvous point. Natic is a little bit slow getting back to the rendezvous zone, and as time expires, it does look like all the Red Robots are definitely up off the playing field floor. We'll take a look at the end game breakdown. And Red did end up going home with that match, 383 to 328 in favor of the Red Alliance. They will also take home the two bonus ranking points. The Blue Alliance, though, will not walk away empty-handed after scoring 97 power cells. They earn a ranking point for energizing their shield generator. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.